Welcome to Booze on the Rocks, and today we're making the See No Evil. Now, this cocktail is an interesting looking cocktail that's gorgeously layered and has some unique ingredients that's supposed to give it a fantastic flavor. Now, I've never tried the cocktail, but my friend Anders Ericsson created it. Now, if you don't know him, he's a YouTuber here and he does cocktails as well. And this is one of his personal creations that he's really proud of. Now, he did make it anywhere between 2015 to 2016. And like many people who create cocktails, you kind of throw something together and you forget to write down the actual date, but you kind of tweak it and adjust it till you get it right where it is. Now, when he was looking for a name for this cocktail, he put it down in front of one of his bar patrons who tried the cocktail. And then, because this man is a sage of a sage and has all sorts of knowledge, said, you should call it the See No Evil. And that just happened because that song was actually playing on the, on the radio at the time, which is by the band television off the uh, Marquee Blue album from 1977. Um, and it just sort of fit and stuck. Now, I really wanna try this and I really wanna share it with you for the first time because a couple of the unique flavors are taking the smoky mezcal and adding some Tabasco sauce to it. And as Anders says, the vinegar inside the Tabasco sauce will just sort of give it a little bit of zip, a little bit of zang. So I really wanna try this. Now, I have not tried this cocktail yet but we do need to shake this cocktail. And we're going to start this with a little bit of lime juice. So what you wanna do is just chop yourself a bit of a lime. And what we'll do is we will measure out and squeeze three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Your second ingredient is going to be a little bit of orgeat. I'm using a bit of homemade orgeat. And we're going to use the same amount of three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. And for your third ingredient, we're going to use the Tabasco sauce. Now, this is what Anders calls the evil in the cocktail. It's that little bit of hidden spice that just comes out and kind of nips your taste buds. Now, he also says you could use your favorite hot sauce. However, he likes how the Tabasco works with the flavors in this cocktail. And we don't need a lot. We just need a total of three dashes. Next, we're moving on to our main spirit. And as I said, that is mezcal. I'm using some uh, Del Miguel. Del Maguey Vida Mezcal. I always get confused whenever I say that. Having said this, this is the exact same um, Mezcal that Anders uses in his video. I just happen to have some on my shelf. However, you do not have to be brand specific. So use what you can get or what you may already have on your shelf that you enjoy. And we need a total of an ounce and a half or 45 mils. Our next step in the process is to shake this with a little bit of ice. And we're going to use um, some crushed ice and we're going to fill this about halfway full. So, um, and you're, you don't have, it doesn't have to be uh, like super crushed. It could be pebble, could be whatever. But my rambling is done now that I've just done my flare piece because I apparently suck at flare. Shake it for a good five seconds. And once you've done, once you've popped this off with the strength of a thousand burning tongues from your hot sauce, we're going to actually put this directly into a low ball glass or AKA as I'm calling it, uh, it's a double rocks glass or double rocks glass, which is 12 ounces or 360 mils to be specific. And we'll just free pour this in. Once you've done this, what we'll do is we will add some more crushed ice to the top and you want to leave enough space that you can actually just pour some bitters on top because we're going to actually layer some bitters directly on top. Now you don't need a lot. Anders says put in a good four to five dashes, which will give you a gorgeous little layer of flavor. This looks absolutely fantastic and it smells great too. So, you know what, we're going to garnish this now and there's two parts to the garnish. The first is grating some fresh nutmeg over the top, just like so. And you don't need to put a lot on. The next piece is a little bit of mint and we'll just throw this on top, just like so. And you want to make sure that you don't spill everything all over the place, but it just looks and smells fantastic. I'm going to grab myself a perfect little sippy straw, throw that in here and give it a try. Oh, that is good. That is good. Anders, oh yeah. 
you get that smoke, you get just a little bit of fire that goes with the almond from the orgeat and a little bit of the lime juice. And you know what? The uh, bitters are slowly gonna work their way down as you mix this up. This is a fantastic cocktail. If you like fantastic cocktails like this, of course, take a look after the recipe card right over here.